else for me, ladies and gentlemen, the Alliance Theater Junior Players present Daniel Guyton's Kim Arthur and the Nerds of the Round Table. <laughs> Understand it. We tried everything we could think of, but the darn thing won't come loose. 
And I tried reading the stone it's right, but it won't respond to me either. <laughs> and I even tried using my axe, but nothing seems to be working on the fascinating stone. Say, Bill, have you tried using your fire hose on it? Those hose can be pretty powerful. <laughs> yeah, but what that ruin all the arcade games? What arcade? Oh, yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could try lifting you with my crane about a hundred feet high and then dropping it on the cement outside. I bet you that'll open her up real wide. <laughs> of course, the only way for me to do that would be to tear the roof off this place. But that shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, surely there must be an easier way. We just had a new roof installed on this arcade two years ago. Do you have no ladies? We've tried everything we can think of. I'm <laughs> sorry, but your roof has got to go! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, wait! I have an idea. Just imagine putting it down. 
Marley? Oh, what? Oh, yes, I'm in also. <laughs> all right, then. I now pronounce you all the nerds of the 
round table. I like that. That's pretty funny. What? No, I'm not a nerd. I'm one of the pretty girls, and everyone knows that pretty girls can't be nerds. Just who do you think you are calling me? Oh, yes? What is it, Lance? <laughs> if you don't want to help out, then just go. But you don't want to come with me? No, I want to help out. But you don't want being called a nerd? Hey, get with the times, Gwen. All the cool people are nerds these days. Bill Gates is the richest man in the universe, and he's a total nerd. Bug Zuckerberg's a nerd, and he's almost as rich as Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be someone in the world today, you got to be a nerd. I don't mind being a nerd. Really, Lacey? And do you think that too, Lance? Yeah, I do. Well, in that case, you're no longer allowed to sit at my lunch table, Lance, are you either, Lacey? And as for the rest of you, I, I hope you all have you big nerd. I 
I made it to Lettuce Landing. What? Uh, I'm in Lettuce <laughs> Landing. Is this the part where you have to crush the candies, or? <laughs> no, guys, this is Lettuce Landing, remember? This is the land of healthy food choices. <laughs> Yay, this is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> hey, is that a piece of lettuce trying to eat you? Oh, man, get away from me, Lettuce. My mom says it's supposed to eat you, not the other way around. Oh, watch out. Oh, you <laughs> worm like you want. Are you interested? 
Heck yeah, I'm interested.
whole bunch. You've been a bad girl. <laughs> they knocked it off. Wait. What? Hey, I know she was annoying sometimes, but she was still my best friend forever. At least at one point. Mine too. Mine too. Yeah, and mine too. I can't believe you turned her into a billy goat. Well, she hurt my friends. All of them. Did you really mean that, Lance and Lacey and Stacy and Kim? What you said about being my best friends forever? <laughs> Glenn! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! If that's Gwen, then who the heck is that? <laughs> well, you see, I tried to turn her into a goat, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you need to work on your magic. Listen, everyone, I, I know it's been a real jerk to you all. I, well, Stacy and I, we pass judgment on people. We tried to make Kim Arthur different than who she is. And that really, that comes from our own insecurities, because deep down, I don't really think of all that special. Or me. And so I thought that if I could change Kim Arthur to be just like me, then that would make me feel special. But it just doesn't work like that. Not even close. And it, so it took Kim Arthur and the nerds of the round table to teach me. And me. That we're all special in our own way. Whether you're a nerd who likes video games. Or a magician who can't do magic to save your life. You can be a beautiful person. And I know I hurt you, Lance, and you like you. Kimberly, sort of you too, Stacy. Nah. <laughs> but if you'll forgive me, I, I'd really like to be a nerd of the round table. If you'll have me, that is. Up, over, four leaf clover, down, down under, friends of wonder, left, right, bonds are tight, mm -hmm. ceiling, floor, friends, friends for sure.
then I like annoying my sister. We'll take one more. Avery, how do you want your lines? Um, I just practice with my parents and my sister. And then I got to the point where I memorized them. Cool. Well, at first I remembered like a couple lines and then I got them and I was kind of surprised that most of the people got their lines and then I memorized like most of the scenes that I was in and all the other people's lines as well. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll take another question. I'll give you guys the next question. Yes, 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 ma'am. How long did you rehearse? How long did we rehearse? Who can tell us? Elizabeth. Probably about um, eight times. I think and less. I think we only had seven. Yeah, and we had three hours months. each time, so mm -hmm. it was pretty difficult to get the whole entire play in just that amount of time. It was. We normally have more rehearsals for junior players, uh, but just the time slot they put us in, we didn't have as much time. Mm -hmm. Well, at first, it, like I thought that it would take like forever, but it was like so much fun that time flew so quickly. Mm -hmm. And good. One more question. <laughs> we have two questions. Right here, yes. So this was the second performance. Mm -hmm. What's it like performing it for an audience more than once? <laughs> Let's talk about how this was different. Gabby. Um, well, I feel like the <coughs> audience is gonna know what, um, what already happened, so you're like, so you're trying to remember the exact ones that you sh said last time, so just get, like... No, that's a good point, because normally when people see a play, they only see it once. So if you mess up, unless it's Shakespeare or something, they're not going to know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will say, this was a different show than I saw uh, two days ago. Some of you may agree. <laughs> totally. Nylon. I mean, it's definitely more stressful because people know what they heard last time. And they know, like, the main part of it. And if you mess up really bad, they'll definitely know. And then if you do it the third time and you do it even better, it'll seem like you did it even worse than what you did it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so we just don't make a big deal when we mess up. I, do, I want to hear from Ellie, since this was her first time getting to do the show. Um, I, it was really, so it was different because the first time it was really scary, and then I got more used to it. And when First time, met, like when you read it yeah. in rehearsal? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then when we performed it, I felt better because we had more chances because on Thursday, if we didn't do as good, then we would have Saturday and Sunday together. Right, but this was your chance. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, we had one more question in the back. We'll take that and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, my question was for Ellie, uh -huh. actually. When did you find out that you were going to be coming in to do the show today? You did fantastic. Um, I found out when I got in the car yesterday after school. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so let's go to our photo call position. Y'all know what that is. Just take a couple pictures. You're watching these flashes now. We're not.